here with more, Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Senator, good to have you. I never anticipated, Senator, that this country that was energy independent just a little over a year ago would find itself adopting insane Green New Deal socialist policies that result in America take buying oil from Russia, uh, begging the Iranian mullahs for a deal so we can buy their oil, begging Venezuela, and begging OPEC. I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. Um, I don't think we should be enriching America's enemies. Your thoughts? Yeah, Sean, it's crazy. Joe Biden uh, has shackled our oil and gas industry for the last year. He would rather, as you say, go hat in hand and beg the Ayatollahs to pump more oil for us or go to Venezuela to the strongman, Nicolas Maduro, who we don't even recognize as a legitimate head of their government. And Sean, the war in Ukraine is actually closely connected to this terrible nuclear deal in Iran, as you said. Joe Biden's been counting on Vladimir Putin to be his lawyer for the last year to try to get Iran to cut a deal with us. And that's one of the reasons why he was so weak over the last year is he didn't want to do anything to offend Vladimir Putin and upset the apple cart with this nuclear deal with Iran. And now, as they were just about to strike another terrible deal, Iran and Russia walk away from the table because they know they have Joe Biden over the barrel that he desperately wants this nuclear deal and that they can extract more concessions from him, both in Ukraine and in Iran. There's a direct connection between how weak Joe Biden has been on Iran and the war that Vladimir Putin is waging in Ukraine right now. Weigh in on Alberta's premier and the statement that if we had finished, we would, we would now have finished the Keystone XL pipeline and Canada would be giving us uh, about around 900,000 barrels of oil a day. Canada today said that they can find ways to give us an additional 400,000 barrels of oil a day by shipping it through rail, et cetera, et cetera. So I think I'd go to them first rather than these other countries. Why are we doing that? Well, of course, Sean, but we're not doing it because Joe Biden's eco-activists on the left don't want North American oil. If they have to, I guess they'd rather take it from countries like Venezuela or Iran, but they are crippling our energy industry. It's not just oil and gas leases, it's permits, it's the pipeline infrastructure, it's liquefied natural gas uh, export facilities. All of these things take time. So when you hear Joe Biden stand up there and say, well, the Keystone Pipeline wasn't even open yet, that's why it's important that you start these things now and you do so in a timely fashion and you build them so they're available in the future and so it sends a signal to investors that the oil and gas industry is a good place to put your money because it's going to be stable for years to come. Instead, you have Joe Biden and John Kerry out there saying, well, we need more oil right now, but in five years we don't want any oil and gas and we want you all to drive a $60,000 electric car. All right, Senator Cotton, great to have you. Thank you for being with us.